Werk je niet met Tom, hoe werk je nog met een paar ook? Hello everyone, Karen Marik here from the Cart Horse Protection Association and you are watching Coffee for Cart Horse, our first episode of our new season. And please remember folks, we will now be live every second Wednesday going forward. <clears throat> Excuse me, the insert we just watched was William with Safuan, his horse. As you all probably know by now, the aim of presenting Coffee with Cart Horse is to bring in much needed funding for the hard working cart horses. We showcase the work that we do and why it is so important you turn your likes and shares into rands and cents. As a fundraiser, I always say there is no donation ever too small or too big for that matter. <laughs> The last year saw our wonderful and dedicated donors continue to support our work, be it for our sponsor stable projects, vet care, zero tolerance, or our static and mobile clinics. For us to not have a budget shortfall again this year of nearly 2 million rand, we really need to up our donor numbers, folks, and try and reach 10,000 Facebook followers to gain more exposure. So please invite all your family and friends to our page. Today's lineup, we will be talking about our nutrition approach, pregnant Lady June, and the carty stopping when no one else would. And here we have a bus, a picky tea drinker. <laughs> what does she like? She likes the tea. Yes, but she don't drink it without milk. She won't drink it without milk. Tea, not and tell me, does she have sugar? No sugar. Yeah. A bit of sugar. Two sugars. Is she very specific? Oh, how funny. And what is her name? Abbas. Abbas. And she clearly likes the the muffins. Yes. <laughs> and chips. Tell me, does she get tea every morning for breakfast? Yes. Before she goes to work. Yes. Milk tea. Milk tea. And if you give her black tea, she won't eat, she won't drink it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. We like to eat luxuries. Luxuries. Chocolates. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. We eat also. What's his name? Abbas. So whatever you guys eat, he he wants to eat. Okay. Oh my word. He is so spoiled. Oh. It was wonderful to see, and Abbas is not a girl, he's definitely a boy, and loved by his family, and clearly knows what he wants and what he doesn't want. This year, we will be sharing our holistic horse welfare approach with you. Basically, all the vital services we offer the cart horse community, many of them for free. As I mentioned earlier, you can see firsthand what we do and where your donations are going to. You are also all very welcome to visit us at our Epic Clinic to see the hustle and the bustle of our morning clinics. It is a hive of activity and all focused on the working cart horses. One of our main services and actually the most expensive cost annually is our feed service. Proper nutrition is essential for the cart horses so that they are healthy and fit to work. A working cart horse, depending on its size, will need about one bag of 10% and two to three bells of oat hay per week, a total cost being 300 rand. We offer 10% horse meal and oat hay at heavily subsidized rates and a fresh brands sponsor our 10% Romix horse meal at cost. We also ensure that feed is available all year round by buying feed in bulk. This, is, this also means that the cartels owners are not exposed to the extreme price fluctuations in times of drought. 
Did you know that a lot of owners feed their horses before they feed themselves? Because if the horse is under condition, the horse cannot go out to work and help them earn a living. We also continue to educate the cart horse owners and drivers that cow meal is not a meal for horses. But the age old tradition still prevails for some owners. Even if they have 10% or ote, they still feel the need to mix the cow meal in with it. But we have come a very long way and these owners are most definitely in the minority. Stage five lockdown saw the cart horse owners not being able to work and therefore could barely feed themselves, never mind their horses. We sent out an appeal to you, our donors, and over 70,000 Rand was donated. Not one cart horse went hungry. Thank you, thank you to all our donors. We truly do this together. Our field staff worked tirelessly in delivering feed to the owners as we never stopped our commitment to the well being of our registered horses. We still continue to give feed assistance to those owners that are struggling and offer feed when temperatures are way too hot to work if the reason going to work is to buy feed for their horses. The next slide is, I had absolutely no idea that a horse's digestive system was so incredibly sensitive, but I have learned quite a bit over the years. Horses can't burp, at least not the way humans do, and they can't vomit or breathe through their mouths like humans either. A horse's digestive system is a one-way street, unlike cattle who regurgitate food to re-chew it. Although they have a pretty efficient way of processing the tough, fibrous foods that make up their forage, this long, one-directional system can cause problems that result in colic. But more about colic in our next episode. It is a major problem and one we know all too well. Yes, Karen has become quite the equine expert over the last five years from someone who knew nothing when she started. <laughs> As you know, uh, please, please like and share. We are streaming on Facebook, on YouTube. We are also on Twitch. So if you have any friends or enemies on any of these platforms, please share, tell them to come and watch our live stream every second Wednesday at three o'clock. And yeah, don't forget to hit that share button. Share button is very, very important so we can get <laughs> more, more people to, to like and visit our page. Up next, Lady June. Lady June's owner called us as he was very worried that she was not eating. Lady June is also in her last trimester and we found out she was suffering from billowy. This was a very tricky case as we did not want to harm her unborn foal with the medication that she needed. But she was gradually getting worse and the temperature would not come down. In the one photograph you can see that Jolise is actually watering her down because the temperature was so incredibly high. Um, as I said, she was gradually getting worse and it was decided to do a blood transfusion on Saturday the 26th of March but remarkably, the meds we were giving her started working, thank goodness. Melanie checks on her every day and mom and baby are doing well. And we can't wait to see the new addition to the family, hopefully very soon. Yes, it's only because of your kind donations that we can keep doing the work we do and we can keep providing the services we provide so when you make a donation, please don't forget to reference your donation coffee. So, and also remember to send us your proof of payment or your contact details. It's important for your section 18A. So there are two major ways in which you can donate, but there are many other ways. But you can head over to our um, website as the, the link below says, carthorse.org.za forward slash donate. There's a bright orange button. You click on that, it's very simple. <laughs> you fill in the form and it asks you for 
uh, set amount or you can set your own amount. Otherwise, if you're tech savvy, you could go download SnapScan and you don't even need our QR code. We are in the, if you go to more and donate, we are right there. You can donate to Cardforce any which way you like. Teresa, thanks, Marika. Up next, Conway Peacock saved a dog that no one else would. During a very busy morning at the Epic Clinic, a, cl clinic, a member of the public came rushing in to tell us about a horrible yet heartwarming sighting she had just witnessed. One of our cart horse owners, Conwyn Peacock, had seen the dog being hit by a car. Unlike all the motorists who just kept on driving, Conwyn stopped and loaded the injured dog onto his cart and brought it through to the Animal Anti-Cruelty League right next door to us to be treated. The woman was so moved that she followed him here and rewarded him for his act of kindness. Conman didn't think twice to, to just leave the dog in the road. And thank you, Conman, for being that dog's guardian angel and for stepping in when no one clearly didn't. Folks, if you've missed any of our interesting episodes, you can still access all 41 of them as well mm -hmm. on our YouTube channel. There is something for everyone. And so you can see, like I always say, firsthand where your donations are going to and what it is that we do. And until the 20th of April, be safe and take care. Bye now.